to Math Dad. Today we're going to talk about something that is very scary to most adults. Fractions. This video is only going to deal with the vocabulary necessary to understand fractions. Let's start with the parts of a fraction. A fraction is essentially a message that says, this is how much you have, and this is how much you need to make a complete object. The top number tells you how much you have, and it's called the numerator, from the word numeral, which means number. So the top is the number of things you have, the numerator. The bottom number tells you how many parts you need to make a complete object, or a complete group. It's called the denominator. To remember which part is the numerator and which is the denominator, I remember the first letter of each name, N and D. The N in numerator reminds me of north, which reminds me of the top. And the D in denominator reminds me of down. Denominators are at the bottom. It's a stretch, but it works for me. Let's look at the fraction in action. This is one-fourth. That means I have one piece out of four parts. This is two-fourths. You can also call it one-half, but that's a different video tutorial. This is three-fourths. If you add one more part, it becomes four-fourths, but it also becomes one complete object, or one whole object. Whenever you have one complete object, you have one. So five-fifths, or twelve-twelfths, or twenty-five-twenty-fifths can each be called one whole, or just one, because you have all the parts. In this example, I used a single object, but fractions can represent a section of a group. For instance, this can be called one-third. There are twelve circles, but one section of the three groups is circled. I have one, but I need a total of three to make this group complete. This is how a fraction can represent a section of a larger group. There are other types of fractions, too. You might see them like this, 2 and 7 eighths, or like this, 23 eighths. This means there are enough pieces, or numerators, to make a complete object. In this case, there's enough parts to make two complete objects. Let me explain. Let's say there are three pizzas, and each pizza is sliced into eight pieces. If I eat one slice, you have two entire pizzas, and seven-eighths of a pizza left. Two and seven-eighths. Or you can think of it this way. Even though you only need eight slices to make one pizza, you have 23 slices. So you can write all of this as 23 eighths. This is called an improper fraction because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Usually, the numerator is smaller than the denominator. 2 and 7 eighths is called a mixed number because you have a regular number mixed with a fraction. Let's review. This is a fraction. There's the numerator. There's the denominator. This one tells you how many you have, and this one tells you how many you need to make one complete object. A fraction can be a piece of an object, or it can be a section of a group. This is a mixed number, and this is an improper fraction. Once you understand these concepts, you can begin to understand how to add, subtract, multiply, divide, and simplify fractions. To learn more about math, or to download practice worksheets, go to www.mathdad.com. Don't forget to tell your friends and teachers about this site, too.